Namaskar. In this video, we will talk about how to write the word Sanskritam in the English or Roman script. Now, when we write it in Devanagari script, it's clear. But in, when we write to, when you want to write that same word in English or Roman script, there is some debate or confusion. We'll talk about it in this video today. The word Sanskritam, which is shown here, written in Devanagari script on the top, that is clear. Using the Devanagari script, that's how we write it. But when we want to write the same thing in the English language, uh, that is Roman script, which is used to write the English language uh, in today, uh, nowadays, so what happens is the question comes how do we write that or how we how do we represent uh, that dot on top of sir which is anuswara how do we write that in the roman script whether that should be written as m or that should be written as n right then also the other next thing is uh, the the sound ru which uh, comes after k here in Devanagari, then how should that be written in the English language, whether it should be r i or r u, right? So look at this uh, word again, Sanskritam. What are the sounds it is made of? So the first one is Sakara, Akara, Anuswara, then Sakara, then Kakara, then ukara, takara, akara, and makara. When I am saying makara, the makara means it is sound. When I say sakara, it is the sound of sarvenjanam, which cannot be pronounced independently. All the venjanas cannot be pronounced by themselves. They need the help of a swara at the end. So when I say sakara, it is just the sound of s without the a. Uh. So the first one which is shown here is a sakara, sarvenjanam. Then there is a a swara, akara. Then there is this anuswara which is shown on the top here, with which is represented by a dot you know, uh, in Devanagari script. And then other letters are there, other sounds like s, k, then r, and t, a, uh, ma. Then Anuswara, first thing is how is it pronounced? Anus, what is Anuswara? Anuswara is the nasal, pure nasal sound which follows a swara. Anuswara sound cannot follow a venjanam. It has to come after any of the swaras. It could be after a, a, e, e, any of the swaras. So in this case, in this Sanskritam word, it is after a. Now note that this Anuswara is a pure nasal sound originating through Kantha, uh, the breath, and that is the air comes through the nose entirely. There is uh, no effect of closing the mouth cavity. Whether you close the mouth cavity, open cavity, it doesn't matter. The, the Anuswara sound itself has, is a pure nasal sound and it follows a. It is not part of a. Remember that when we, when we pronounce this Anuswara, it is not part of the Swara which is before it. So, example here. Now, when there is a, a sound called on, on. So, that on is a nasal sound mixed with a okay, at the same time, mixed with a. That is called anunasika a. It is not, which is shown, it is not anuswara, which is now the anunasika is shown here with a, and on top of that, there is a chandra bindu, called chandra bindu here, 
and that is not a simple dot it is represented in devanagari with this half circle and on a dot on top of it this a uh, and half moon and dot this chandra bindu this is a separate sound called anunasika a that is a uh, that the whole a uh, swara is pronounced through nose whereas anuswara is a separate sound it is not part of a and then it has to follow a in this case and that anuswara can follow any of the letters in other words but in this case it is after a and that means first we have to say a and then we have to push the air nasally out okay? that becomes a so that's like a slow motion but it has to be pronounced quickly um, and note that this is not um um is different uh and then anuswara becomes um 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 so it is not a uh. so that means sa and we have a uh, and there is, there is anuswara so those two are distinct sounds a uh, and anuswara anuswara in devanagari is represented by a dot uh, on top of the swara it is following so the next letter in question here is u so this pronunciation of u i have covered it in couple of other videos you can refer to that but here let me cover it quickly the ru sound is a swara it is not a vyanjanam but it is a murdhanya swara that means its position position of what position of the tongue where it is the air passing through the mouth cavity is being compressed is same or similar to that of ta tha da dha na or even r the vyanjanam r or rakara so the position of those letters who are also which are also murdhanya letters they are the same as that of r the difference is r when you are pronouncing r the air is not completely blocked it is still pushed out through the cavity of the mouth while the the shape of the tongue remains same uh, similar to ta tha the but there is a there are a couple of slight variations while pronouncing r that depending on the force we push like r r so now having this in mind these two in mind we can pronounce the word or we know how to pronounce the word sanskritam so coming back to this uh, how to pronounce anuswara ru and how to write them in sanskritam where anuswara is a pure nasal sound following a uh, swara now in this case it is follows a uh, so we have sun and then after that the letter is also s so in this in this example sun s sun s it is not sum s so whether should we write m or sorry m in roman script or n in roman script uh, that is a question here now if you take couple of examples of english words crimson with the m and console with n if you hear the sound there there is a crimson there is a m sound and when we say console there is a n sound console so they are not this crim in the in the word crimson and console the letters m and n they are not exactly anuswara sound so 
this is basically depend i mean the the main thing here is the sound the script is different the, the writing is separate subject so in the english word crimson we are writing m and it is pronounced ma like crimson and because the ma is there because the both the uh, lips are touching each other to to pronounce ma crimson whereas in console na that comes kan na na is being pronounced which sthanam and pronunciation technique is different than anuswara in anuswara we are just saying it is a nasal sound following a swara there is no involvement of the mouth cavity or the tongue so that is one thing to remember while pronouncing anuswara same thing with r we already discussed that but if you think of writing it as ri or ru and take some examples of the some of the english words here crimson cruel or root so those are written with ri ru or just r o o in case of root so those some of those pronunciation might be similar to those uh, can be um, confounded by those who are expert in the pronunciation of english words so probably it is similar to root right where uh, when we say r r is the tongue is not touching the inside the mouth when we say root yeah, not root so that's the u sound with that in mind now if we want to write this these sounds uh, the collection of sounds makes this word called sanskritam that is just the collection of the sounds now that the, then how do we write that in script using the devanagari script we are writing it like this with a dot for anuswara and there is a small like half circle to represent u which is following k uh, venjanam that is the devanagari script style but to represent the same sounds in roman script then we will have to find or refer to the uh, transcription or transliteration not transcription transliteration uh, methods here you will find a part of the table with different transliteration schemas and this is uh, taken from wikipedia and for the sound a a e etc the first column shows the devanagari script and for that the transliteration schema if you use iast the symbols are shown there for each of the Uh, swaras or vowels and then there is other schemas like iso 15919 monier williams harvard kyoto itrans and other three so if we follow these standards then how are we going to write this sanskritam so let's say if we follow uh, the harvard kyoto you know that's this column harvard kyoto so the first one sir which is simple that the symbols for or the transliteration schema for vyanjanas you can you can find in wikipedia so it is just sa for sir and for upper case letter m if we follow this harvard kyoto so we have the upper case m and then there is sk for sk and there is upper case r in the for ru in the harvard kyoto and then is t a m for tam that last m lower case m is for the vyanjanam ma makara so if you follow harvard kyoto then it looks like th- this uh, sanskritam written in roman script 
And if we follow a different transliteration schema, let's say if we follow this um, ISO or no, this IAST. So then it is going to look like this. Yes, say M lowercase M with a dot underneath, which while typing, it could be difficult to do this. But if you are handwriting it, then you can put the dot below M and then there is SK then similarly R and dot below it for RU sound and then there is TAM. This is if you follow the IAST transliteration schema. Then if you follow the other one, say ITRANS schema, then it will be SA dot N as you see here dot N in the ITRANS schema for Anaswara or it could be dot M also dot m lowercase m or dot lowercase n there and then there is sk and then there is double r i for u sound which is shown here or there is another symbol also you can use then there is uh, tam sanskritam so there are various translation schemas which are available if we want to use the roman script to represent these sounds. So there is no like hard and fast or a fixed way of writing the Sanskritam in uh, or using Roman script. The main thing is the sounds and as far as we are consistent and understand what each script uh, letter in that script what it represents what sound it represents then it should be clear so for that purpose devanagari script appears to be more suitable to route to write sanskrit language sounds though it is not perfect again there are some issues problems with devanagari script also but overall it is better suited to write uh, Sanskrit sounds or Varnamala than the uh, Roman script. Okay. Namaskara.